calling all majors. This is the College of Health, Education, and Professional Studies. And these are the undergraduate majors, I believe. I think I have everything uh, listed here. If not, um, our, our dean will definitely let us know. And we are just having these sessions to allow you all to meet each other um, per your college. And I just realized that if we say colleges, many of you don't know what major your college falls under. So that may be a uh, part of it. So we wanted to just let you know who else is in your college and also in West Campus is in your major. And this is our Dean and she is actually my Dean. I'm also enlisted in the, the College of uh, Educa School of Education. And so this is Dean Rutledge and I thought it would be helpful for you all to, real to know who is a Dean because you will be shaking her hand when you graduate uh, from UTC with your degree. That's right. Okay, so let me give you, first of all, I'm excited to be here and I was excited to be the first because when Dr. Ellis and I talked, I said, oh, let me do this, let me do this. So um, for those of you who are watching that, she has listed for you all the different degree programs, but I'll talk just briefly uh, because I think that's an important thing to know. Sometimes you know what degree program you're in or you know who your uh, professors are, but may not yet know much about the college. So if you look at all that list of college programs that Dr. Ellis shared with you, what you've got are a lot of programs that I would say give you the chance to interact with people in lots of different ways. So whether you're in education or social work or uh, nursing or health and human performance or even interior architecture, a lot of what you're doing is creating things or opportunities to work with other people. So a, a real quick overview of who I am and how I got here. I think sometimes you, you never know where you're going to end up. So when I actually went to UTC myself and got my undergraduate degree and my master's degree, my major at that point was education. I taught uh, secondary education, English and Latin and drama at Udawa High School. Some of you may have gone to Udawa High School or one of the Hamilton County schools, but that's where I was for a number of years. And then in 1995, came back to UTC and joined the School of Education and at that point was a professor just like Dr. Ellis is. I moved from there into the department head role and then seven years ago moved into the dean's role. So when I thought about it and why I ended up there, I'll be honest with you, I never woke up one morning and said, oh, my goal in life is to be a dean. That was not it. But sometimes I think opportunities open up to you. And so I'm excited to see what you all do as you pursue whatever your degree may be in, whether it's in my college or not you're gonna have all sorts of opportunities. And there are new professions and new pathways that didn't even exist when I came through. And I think that's some of the most exciting things that we had to look forward to. So a quick little overview of who I was and how I got here. I came to UTC right out of high school, like a lot of you have, and decided that at that particular point, I was real interested in doing something that I liked. So tried out for cheerleader and made it and sang in the Singing Mox and Chamber Singers, although I promised not to sing for you tonight, and then uh, chose to join a sorority. And those were the things that became my community, the people that I hung out with, the people that I enjoyed different kinds of activities with, and actually still stay in touch with today. So hope that what you're doing to set the foundation for that right now is using some of your time to first of all decide, are you in the right major? If you're not, what would you like to be in? And, and what do you think you wanna do with that major? I think the second thing is, who are you hanging out with? What do you all enjoy together? What kinds of things do you want to do? Or if you haven't done them yet, what opportunities do you have out there? And I think finally, the thing for me is the biggest thing that all of us who work at the university believe is that we are here for you. And that the most important thing we can do is have an impact on your life, give you an opportunity to do some things that you really find interesting. And maybe out of all of that, choose a career path that says to you, this is where I really need to be. And I figured it out when I was in my freshman year or my sophomore year or one of the other years that you're here. So a real quick invitation to all of you. So our college is in different buildings on campus. If you're in the nursing or the HHP programs, they are in um, the Metro building, which is just a couple of blocks over from where you are. If you're in the PT or OT, which are actually graduate programs, I'll come back and mention them in just a second. They are in the MAP building across from Metro. And for two more weeks, the people who are in education and social work and the other programs in our college are in Hunter Hall. But we will move to the state office building and to Davenport starting on the 30th of November. So we'll actually all be down toward that end of campus. Love for you to stop by. If nothing else, just check out the places we are and have a chance to meet faculty and talk to them and find out 
you know, what can I do with this degree? Where can I go? What kinds of opportunities might open to me? And I think that's where we all are when we begin college saying, I think I know what I want to do. I think I know where I want to be, but let me get some more details. So thank you for investigating. Thank you for taking the swag we provided tonight. I hope you can use it. I hope you'll wear it if it's something to wear or eat it if it's something to eat. Looking forward to meeting as many of you as possible. And if you're ever just roaming around campus for the next three weeks, you can come to Hunter Hall, but after that, you can come to the State Office Building. Love to have the chance to meet any of you. And even if you're interested, talk about the programs that we have, uh, talk about who might be able to give you some sense of opportunities that are there. Some of you may even find that you'd like to be a student worker or an assistant in some of our programs. There are all sorts of opportunities. The last thing that I would add before I finish up is there are a number of centers that are connected with our college. One of them is the Children's Center. We have two sites and those sites actually allow students to come observe and do some of their clinical placement hours for our programs down there. Another one is the, the program that was formerly called Southeast Center for Education and the Arts, but it's an arts-based collaborative where they teach things that relate to uh, performing arts. They help people who are going into the education field for art or music or drama uh, become more, more familiar with what they want to do. We're also connected with the Challenger Center. If you haven't had a chance to go on a mission, we hope you'll get that chance to do it while you're here at UTC. And then finally, the last center is a center that has a lot of grants that actually provide support to people who want to go to college or who maybe didn't have the opportunity and want to finish now. So this gives them support they need. Looking forward to meeting any of you. Want to thank Dr. Ellis for having me over here tonight and giving me the chance to share this with you. I look forward to seeing you soon and go Mox. Hi, I wanted to share a few academic tips and tricks with you that I find um, helpful for me and hopefully you'll find them helpful for you. We want to make sure you're ending the semester strong. So the main thing that I want to uh, share with you are just some practical things. The first one is rest. Sleep is important. Uh, and sometimes you have to get it in the best way you can. So if you need if you need to nap, then nap, but you cannot deplete your body of rest. Um, I'm a big Apple person. I, I'll mention this on a couple of other slides, but when that little phone tells you or your watch tells you to go to bed, go to bed. Um, you can't cheat yourself of sleep. And you can't cheat yourself of time. Um, and when you do, you pay for it. And so I've, I've had a rough week myself and I have had to figure out different ways to try to help my body recuperate from um, some long um, days and nights of, of working. But really get yourself into a routine to make sure that you're getting proper rest. The next thing is drinking water. Your brain thrives on water. Your body thrives on water. So one of the best things that you can do just to help you while you're studying uh, is to drink water. Making sure you're really well hydrated hydrated is essential for your for your academic success. Um, there's a lot of research on the brain and how it functions and drinking water is one of the things that can really help you and really help you with even with your retention. So not just retention of water, but retention of the, the information that you're trying to learn and process. The next one is exercising. Dr. Ellis, none of this is about studying. You're right, because if your body is not well, then you, it doesn't matter how much you cram in, you will not be successful academically. So I'm not saying you need to be at the ARC all day, but 30 minutes, just taking a brisk walk, doing something, just kind of clearing your mind, doing something that will get that heart rate up a little bit, um, close those rings are very, very important. So making sure that you are um, exercising and moving these Zoom meetings, Zoom class, it's a lot of, of being sedentary. So even if you're um, in class, maybe change your position. Maybe you sit down for one class, stand up for another class. You've got to do something to kind of help you um, be more active um, during this time. The last tip is eating healthy, making sure you eat a well-balanced meal. Of course, the fruits, the vegetables, all of those, those different types of things are very important. Um, the stress eating of the candy, talking to myself, is not helpful. So making sure that you really fuel your body well will really help give yourself the academic foundation that you need. I would highly recommend if you are someone who have, are, are having a hard time academically um, because what you did in high school, you were an A student and everything that you did in high school is just not translating well into college, I would really recommend that during the break is that you 
um, get the book, teach yourself how to learn. So you'll learn better strategies on how to be successful in a college environment. That cramming and just regurgitating information may not work in all of your classes. And so we want you to be successful here academically. And this is a really great resource. Um, those one through four steps that I share with you are also included in, in uh, Dr. McGuire's book, but she really gives you great tips and tricks on how to learn and kind of even unlearn some bad habits that you uh, have had when you were in, um, in high school. And that's what the, one of the first things I had to do when I got to college. I was a horrible uh, high school student, but and I, so I knew going in that I would have to teach myself how to learn. And thankfully I was able to recognize that and make that transition. So make sure you seek help and you do different things like that to kind of help you. And now I'm gonna open up the floor for RAs to provide some of their academic tips and tricks so you can end the semester strong. So one of my biggest um, tips for everyone is reducing the amount of stress that you feel on a daily basis. And I really liked what um, you said, Dr. Ellis, about how if you are not physically and mentally well, you're not going to perform well academically. Um, so my thing is reducing your stress and you can do by doing something that you truly enjoy. And you don't have to take up a full day doing this um, because obviously we all have things that we have to get done. Um, but taking at least like 30 minutes to do something that you truly enjoy doing whether there's maybe going to the ARC, something like that, or sitting down and playing a round of, you know, whatever video game you like the best, um, or maybe it is reading a book or going for a walk. Whatever you truly enjoy, at least take 30 minutes out of a each and every day to do that. Um, maybe it's taking a shower. I know I like to relax by taking a nice warm shower um, during the middle of the day. Um, but if you reduce your stress, you're going to be more prepared to take on um, the more stressful things in life, like your schoolwork. And um, so if you reduce the amount of stress you feel, you're going to be way more successful and do much better with your classes. My biggest tip is academically wise um, is to use office hours, like professors will, whether it's on Zoom or in person, um, like to go in there and ask questions and get to know your professors um, is a great way to learn more, and, but also to just be honest with yourself and to know if you actually know the subject going into a test or a final or whatever. Um, I have another academic tip to add on to Cole. So a good way to reduce stress is to plan out like any big uh deadlines that you have coming up so instead of like trying to get it done within like a two or three day time frame try breaking it up into sections and work on it each day for maybe like 15 or 30 minutes so by the time that it is due you won't feel as stressed out so general um tip on academic success is really in your mindset, making sure you adopt a growth mindset, making sure you you really speak positive, your speaks positively to yourself. You can do this. Um, you're you you know how to work well. You are efficient, and the work that you produce is is good quality work. It's not too hard. Uh, and if you find yourself in there in that fixed mindset, this is too hard. I can't do this. I'm not I'm not doing well at this. That's when you may need to, to seek out. Um, help. So they utilize the tutoring services, um, find a, a peer mentor. Those were very helpful for me when I was in school, really getting a good peer mentor. Um, even if, and I would always go to tutoring, even if it was a subject I was good in, I was really good in math. I was an engineering major in undergraduate, but I still went to tutoring sessions to work out my problems. So in the event, if I had a question, I was already there at the tutoring location and there was somebody there to help me. And also just kind of helped put the structure in me. I knew that they were, they had sessions from this time to that time. And so I knew I could do my math homework then and get it knocked out. So really making sure that you speak positive to yourself, speak positively to yourself about your ability to do well here at UTC.